As the wing moves through the air, the oncoming air will split around the wing over the top and over through the bottom around the leading edge. The airflow on top and on bottom meet again at the trailing edge. The cord line is an imaginary line that runs from the leading edge to the trailing edge. Relative wind is the direction of airflow with respect to the wing. It's created by the motion of an airfoil through the air, by the motion of air past an airfoil, or by a combination of, a two, of the two. For a helicopter, the relative wind is the flow of air with respect to the rotor blades. The relative wind is parallel to the flight path, but moves in the opposite direction. Relative wind may be affected by several factors, including the rotation of the rotor blades, horizontal movement of the helicopter itself, or the flapping of the rotor blades. Also, wind speed and direction. The angle between the cord line and the relative wind is the angle of attack. Don't confuse angle of attack with pitch angle of the rotor blades. Pitch angle is the angle of the blades relative to the helicopter itself. The angle of attack is the angle of the blades relative to the oncoming wind. As the angle of attack increases, lift increases. As the angle of attack decreases, lift decreases. So in a nutshell, increasing pitch angle increases angle of attack, which in turn increases lift. Decreasing pitch angle does the opposite. Remember, as lift increases, induced drag increases and will tend to slow down the rotor blades. Additional power will be required to prevent this decay in RPM. Critical angle of attack is reached when the angle of attack is so great that the air can no longer flow smoothly across the top of the airfoil. The airflow becomes turbulent and drag increases. There is a sudden increase in pressure on top of the wing and lift is lost. We say that the wing, or rotor blade, has stalled. There are two ways that you can increase lift. Increase the speed of the aircraft through the air, or increase the angle of attack. Now in a helicopter, we have to keep the rotor RPM at a relatively constant speed. Therefore, our only choice is to vary the angle of attack. We'll finish up basic aerodynamics by reviewing center of gravity and three axes of movement. The entire helicopter is balanced around an invisible point called the center of gravity and is the center of the helicopter's total weight. This point, abbreviated CG, is usually located near the rotor mast. The helicopter has three axes of movement which intersect at the center of gravity. Imagine running a shish kebab skewer from the nose to the tail. This is the longitudinal axis. Moving the main rotor side to side is moving it along the longitudinal axis. Put the skewer through from one door to the other and move the main rotor front and back and you control the attitude of the helicopter about the lateral axis. This motion is called pitch. The vertical axis goes from the top to the bottom through the center of the helicopter where the rotor mast is. Movement about this axis is controlled by the anti-torque rotor and is called yaw. We often refer to control of this direction as heading.